10 and 9 here on the beach. Uh, it's pretty cold. It's, you know, middle of September, or October, I'm sorry. Not middle, but early October. Uh, North Carolina here. I've got two rods out. I'm going to just fish like an hour or two in the morning. Uh, I have to go do some work. So I'm going to stay here and fish a little bit, see if I can get something to bite. Water is definitely warmer than the air right now. Um, I believe the water temperature during the day or average is about 70 to 80 degrees still. Air temperature right now is like 50, if, if you know, maybe a little lower. So we're just going to sit here and see if we can make something happen. It's real calm. The surf looks like tides out. I haven't checked my chart yet, see when it's coming in or if it's still going out or not. It doesn't really matter. I'm only going to be out here for about an hour, see if we can make something happen. Use some fresh shrimp and some fish bites. I'm using a nine foot star rod here. Uh, with 30 pound braid, with a two drop rig, 30 pound mono. With, uh, I think this one has uh, two odd hooks on it, other floaties. And the other rod I have is the St. Croix 9 foot. I'm trying to uh, mess with the uh, Shimano Stratic 5000. Uh, this is 20 pound braid and 30 pound mono a uh, liter. And the, uh, like I said, the star rod is messed with uh, Daiwa BG. I think it's a 4500. That's a couple of these things. Yeah, 4500. So, fairly light gear. I had to bring my 10 foot rod over. And I broke my 11 foot rod last time I was here, so. So, I'm gonna stay shallow, see if we can make something happen here. There's a lot of little fish out here just eating my bait off. Nice night too. I was there for like an hour. I'm using really small hooks too. Just curious to see if I have any bait on. So I'm using some fresh shrimp and uh, some uh, fish bites. Bloodworm flavor and shrimp flavor. Nothing on. Let's see if my baits. I see the one fish bite. Yep, took the shrimp. Alright. This was just getting bit like crazy. I don't feel any, any fight though. Strip me clean again. Get off. He did, didn't he? Crap. He stays on.
don't think anything's the one if there is a small a yeah, small fish. Tiny fish. Oh jeez. That's the culprit stuff right there. I was hoping they'd be gone by now, but they're still here. Little pinfish. Gotta be careful with these guys. These guys are really spiky. Oh, that's the culprit. Like little piranhas on this beach. You know, it's almost mid October and they're still causing havoc. I was hoping the pompano and the white and the spots would be biting. Say, hey, bud. The water feels really good though. It's still really warm. so far. The croaker was small, I put it back. The white was 11 inches, so I put them back, so the shrimp boat straight in front of me here. It's pretty shallow. Pretty close in. I've never seen one that close on this beach. Matter of fact, I very rarely see boats on this beach because the inlets are so far apart. I think 26 miles between uh, both inlets with the new river and I forget the other. Uh, Cape, uh, maybe Cape Fear, I forget, but we're on a bite. I'm getting bit already. Let's Let's see if I can keep them on. The problem is it's low tide and these sand dunes are tough to the fish over, but I'm pretty sure he stayed on. If I can get him over this last dune. Yeah, there he is. Okay, that's the pinfish. That's the third species of this afternoon. right now. Yeah. Alright, he's, he's a little guy. Let's get him back in. My injured friend's back. Yeah, I've been feeding him the last couple days. If he wasn't injured, I, I wouldn't, but he's he's injured. He is able to fly still, so and able to get around, but it's actually not too big. Some of these birds, I leave my bait out and they attack it. This guy just sits there Almost like a little pet dog, it just kind of sits next to me. 
doesn't touch anything. My bait's right in front of him. He doesn't touch it. He just kind of sits here. Here's my setup this morning. Uh, so I have the Daiwa. It's a um, it's a cheaper rod. It's, it's a this is a nine nine foot rod. It's a little beefier than the other rods I'm using with a Daiwa 8000, a BG 8000 reel with some 50 pound braid. Uh, hooked up with a little quick connect here uh, to a barrel swivel to one of my homemade uh, high low rigs with some I believe these are two wide hooks, uh, circle hooks. Uh, with some little floats, the floats you can see are kind of chewed up, and some beads. I'm about to replace the, this rig eventually, um, and I have some shrimp uh, with some fish bites on, so two drops. So that, that's that's it. I'm keeping it nice and simple, um, as less material as possible, and I'm just going to throw it out, kind of shallow here because it's still a little rough. See if I get over that second break. All right, perfect. The only problem with this rod, I like the steel head better because I can feel everything. This is a little harder, especially if the current's rough. You can't really tell if something's on as easy.